NCRT Solutions Chapter Number Four Quadratic Equations Exercise Four Point Three Problem Number Nine. Problem is two water taps together can fill a tank in nine three divided by eight hours. The tap of larger diameter takes ten hours less than the smaller one to fill the tank separately. Find the time in which each tap can separately fill the tank. So it's a typical problem. So be careful. So we will start from let. Time taken by smaller tap to fill the tank equal to x hours and let time taken by larger tap to fill the tank. equal to x minus 10 hours because it is given to us that the larger diameter takes 10 hours less so that's why we have supposed x minus 10 hours now if, if I look at this condition it's given to us that smaller that smaller tab takes x hours we have supposed that actually so we can also write that in one hour smaller tab fills 1 divided by x part of tank and from this condition we can say in one hour larger tap fills 1 divided by x minus 10th part of tank so from both of these we can say in one hour both of the tabs together fill 1 divided by x plus 1 divided by x minus 10th part of tank. So this equation is very important we mark it as equation number 1 statement number one or whatever you want to say so it's also given to us that two water taps together can fill a tank in 9 3 by 8 hours two taps together fill a tank in 9 3 divided by 8 hours which is also equal to 75 divided by 8 hours in one hour they'll fill both of the tabs I mean they both of the tabs will fill 8 divided by 75th part part of the tank so from the given condition I have found in one hour they will be filling just 8 divided by 75th part of the tank and here I have found the same thing in one hour both of the tabs together fill this much part of the tank so this statement this thing 1 divided by x plus 1 divided by x minus 10 must be equal to 8 divided by 75 So from here we can make a quadratic equation and we will solve it. Okay, let's take x, x minus 10 as an LCM here. I will get x minus 10 at the top and plus x at the top equal 8 divided by 75. And here I get x plus x, 2x minus 10 divided by x times x is x squared. x times minus 10 is minus 10x equal to 8 divided by 75. Now I can cross multiply 75 times 2x is 150x minus 75 times minus 10 is minus 750 equal to 8x square 8 times x square and 8 times minus 10x is minus 80x. Now I can take the terms to the one side 8x square. I'll keep these terms to the right hand side and bring the other ones 
to the right hand side these ones so I get something like 8x square minus 80x minus 150x plus 750 equal to 0 and it's equal to 8x square minus 150 minus 80x is minus 150x minus 80x is equal to minus 2 minus 230x plus 750 equal to 0 now I can divide this whole equation by 2 because 2 is common so I'll get 4x square minus 1 1 5x plus 375 equal to 0 this is the equation I get if I divide the whole equation equal to by 2 so we want to solve this quadratic equation now let's suppose that we want to solve it using quadratic formula so we will compare this equation with the general quadratic equation which is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 comparing both of these we get a equal to 4 b is equal to minus 115 and c equal to 375 and quadratic formula is x equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a and minus b is minus minus 115 plus minus square root of minus 115 square minus 4 times a is 4 375 divided by 2 times a is 4 so I get here 115 plus minus square root of 115 square Five one one five twelve three one one three two two five one three two two five here and minus three seventy five times sixteen four times four is sixteen so I can find three seventy five times sixteen. I get 6000 here divided by 8 equal to 115 plus minus square root of 13225 132 here 25 minus 6000 I get 5227225 2, divided by 8 and square root of this 7225 is 85 divided by 8 so value of x is equal to 115 plus 85 divided by 8 and 115 minus 85 divided by 8 115 plus 85 is 200 divided by 8 and 115 minus 85 is equal to 30 divided by 8 and this is equal to 100 divided by 4 and this is equal to 15 divided by 4 and they are equal to this is equal to 25 and this is equal to 3.75 so we have two values of x here x is equal to 25 hours and 3.75 hours now we can find the value of y using the values of x not value of y it means that we are getting that what is the time taken by tap of smaller diameter so smaller diameter here takes 25 hours let's consider this value so larger diameter takes x minus 10 hours we have supposed that in the beginning so that would be equal to 25 minus 10 equal to 15 hours now considering this value here we say smaller diameter right tap here smaller diameter tap larger diameter tap smaller diameter 
tap takes 3.75 hours larger diameter tap takes x minus 10 hours which is equal to 3.75 minus 10 which is negative here it, it's minus 6.25 hours so time cannot be negative so we discard this value we discard this whole case so this whole case is not possible if smaller diameter takes 3.75 hours then larger diameter takes minus 6.25 hours the whole case is not possible so we discard this case completely and the solution would be only that smaller diameter takes 25 hours and larger diameter takes larger diameter taps tap takes 25 uh, 15 hours smaller diameter tap takes 25 hours and larger diameter tap takes 15 hours and that's the solution of this problem and in the next video we will be covering problem number 10 exercise 4.3 chapter 4 quadratic equations see you guys